I, for many weeks we've been talking about electroluminescent inks and I, I've been really fascinated with it and so I started looking around and I found that glow paint is made out of almost the same stuff zinc uh, sulfide activated with copper so I was, you know what if I run electricity through this stuff will it light up so I started doing a bunch of experiments I started spraying it on wires and wrapping wire another wire around it just like the electroluminescent um, wire how it's constructed and well this stuff kind of just sparked and almost caught fire I did some other experiments putting some super glue and using different types of enamel wire and spraying the the glow paint on there and that, that didn't quite work out either and so then I started spraying it on paper and rubbing graphite you know on the front and back and trying to run electricity through I don't know if you can see but there's big holes through that and made big plumes of stinky smoke in my house <laughs> and uh, but this you could have got that stink if you just used that foam insulation <laughs> exactly. you know, there are easier ways to make your house smell bad I'm telling you <laughs> so this was actually this little prototype I saw a little glimmer of uh, a flash of of light come out of it that didn't look like a flaming spark and so it's like oh all right it must be working it's just I'm using the wrong materials and then I had the one of the key parts of EL ink is the transparent conductor and then I remembered back in the 20s there was a lot of experiments with semiconductors where they use water as the uh, gate electrode I'm like perfect water it's an electrode it's transparent so I made this little rig that had a power supply um, some silver conductive ink on the back of the paper that's soaked with this zinc sulfide and then I put a drip of water on there and I touch the other electrode to it and it lights up so it really is it's this spray can glow paint is almost the same thing as electroluminescent paint so I think my next step is to uh, unfortunately I tried to take some pictures of this to show but it glows so dimly that I couldn't pick it up with the camera unfortunately so I think the next step is to get maybe some kids glow face paint and see if I can wash it with alcohol and get the binders and <laughs> uh, oh but not like you're not talking about hooking up the voltage to the kids faces necessarily <laughs> well not yet <laughs>